Our STEM learning journey started about 10, uh, 10 years ago. Um, it's actually initiated by our principal who followed a student around for, for two days to see or experience what the school was like for them and realised that uh, they were going from lesson to lesson and all their learning was in these little boxes and teachers were, were largely unaware of even the duplication that was going on at the time. So as a result of that, um, they uh, had a pilot class which was a, particularly around innovation, mathematics and um, student-driven scientific inquiry. So finding a way to integrate and connect uh, learning for students. Um, uh, the success of that actually led to a whole school restructure around learning areas. So um, instead of having traditional eight or more learning areas, we brought it back to four. And uh, uh, mathematics, science and technologies came together in one learning area called Advanced Technologies. And um, the success of that um, pilot class I guess has made us look at ways that we can um, take that style of learning um, across all of our, our classes, um, particularly focus on the middle years. Um, and so that's where our um, industry quests and STEM quests, particularly links with um, local industries, have, um, um, I guess, evolved to in the last couple of years. It took a number of years for us to, I guess, get traction with some of our STEM projects. So that the first few years it was largely um, teachers working together, um, coming up with their own projects. But something that really helped us to bring in some real world connection was um, uh, working with some of our local um, industries. So, um, Michelle um, Beerenberg, and SA Water have been some of ours um, that we've worked with the last couple of years. And that's um, taken, I guess, what we do to a, to a new level where students are actually presenting to um, a panel um, from these, um, these businesses. And um, it's no longer just schoolwork, it's, it's you know, something that's very real. In the beginning, they think it all sounds too hard. They'd much rather be sitting back and having their teacher tell them what they need to do. During the process, they find it really difficult um, becoming an expert in the role that they've chosen to take on within their collaborative group. They find it difficult working with students that aren't the peers that they've chosen to work with that they've been put there by circumstance and the roles that they've chosen instead. And many of them want to run away from this challenge. Many of them even have their parents ring and say, my child is just too stressed doing this. But we have to help them and scaffold them through this and, and help them to understand that that productive struggle and that um, grappling with that anxiety is all part of the learning process. When they come out the other side, they, they basically cheer.